All right, what's up, Paul Squad? Welcome back. So it's now time to check out Zephyr's Spider-Man Cross Spider-Verse recap. And it's called How My Squad Wipe the Spider Society. So I had this long in a while for trying to get a chance to react to, but it got it's age restricted by the way, so I had problems trying to download it and try to get it recorded. But now the problem's fixed. So Hall Squad, let's check it out. Oh man, Zeph, another Spider-Verse video? Yeah. This is great, but how'd you get all the footage? <laughs> By the way, Cross Spider-Verse, nominated for Oscar, a better damn win. Don't ask questions. So the scene starts and they have my boy Miles locked up. Just because they won't let my man save his dad. Because apparently, if you are not going through enough trauma to be sent to a <laughs> mental health ward, you are not worthy to be Spider-Man. And then you got Hobby out here being the realest nigga I done ever mm -hmm. seen in a movie flat out. Helping Miles out when they only knew each other for like an hour. I'm telling you, Hobby and Miles' relationship is the equivalent of seeing another black person and they're just like... <laughs> <laughs> See, Goku and Vegeta get it because they're real niggas. I'm telling you, you need Hobby as a main shooter. That's my dog. So Miles breaks out of that hole and he immediately starts running. And Miguel chases after him. And you gonna see in this video yeah. how Miguel's mental state slowly and slowly <laughs> deteriorates yeah. as he begins to completely tweak out. And it's starting already because why is bro on all fours just to chase him down? Who invited this nigga? <laughs> Miles sprints into the spider society. And before I continue, I pray someone else noticed this, but why is there so many thick ass spider women in the spider bro, society? Really now, I'm gonna assume that they're women for my sanity because I'm not trying to get done like Berlizzi. But when I was watching this, all I see in the background, thighs, ass, thighs, ass, thighs, ass. Like, bro, one of these animators knows ball. He yeah. was in that booth looking. Yeah. Oh my God. See, yeah, the animation was absolutely top tier, man. Damn. Nigga like me that love getting stepped on, this place is absolute heaven. But Miles <laughs> starts to get completely jumped. Like when you play multiplayer Smash and someone's like, Hey, he got three stocks! And then he got <laughs> blitzed by a cat. Now, I don't even know how this cat ended up here because these spiders really just be biting anything. Seriously, like, I saw right, a T-Rex right? in this whole nigga. There was right. a monkey. Like, I really got to look at these spiders and be like, What is your objective? <laughs> right. Most real-life spiders only bite when they're threatened. But these radioactive niggas just be biting for fun, right. apparently. But I'm still looking at this cat and I'm wondering, what was your canon event, bro? For all we do is shit, y'all. Oh, no. Or oh, even worse. Validity. Oh! And Miles is still evading everyone. And I'm just like, man, the way he is out juking all these Spider Men must be so embarrassing. Hey, right? Because I was, bro, in his first year of being Spider Man, bobbing and weaving <laughs> like this. I'm giving, bro, a full contract to Weave Nation. And all y'all Spider Men in the Spider Society, y'all need to hang up the jersey. Because it's <laughs> over for y'all. Because how could you call yourself Spider Man and he got you diving like this? This nigga was in the background. He, he thought I was gonna let him slide. Nah, <laughs> buddy, you tried! Yes, <laughs> he died. <laughs> Hold on! Replay that real quick. Yes, he died. Oh, yes. The horse. They really got my boy Miles saying nigga in a PG animated movie. Stupid. And some of y'all out there still ain't giving this a 10. And what more do you want from your life? God, I hate you. Miles is still running, but the only people that I'm seeing put in actual work is the animals. Because why is he on bro's face again? Like, I damn, I'm gonna just let you cook. And then you got this McCree looking at a nigga right here <laughs> shooting at Miles. He jumps right on his horse and he's talking about some on the count of three, draw. Only for Miles to spray him. Because what he thought this was? Free eat. <laughs> there ain't nothing free out here, bro. And then you got this shorty up here, man. She really thought she was cooking. Like, look at what she says. Spider people too often use comedy as crutch. Crutch. So I look to my <laughs> left, and then I look to my right, and then I looked right back at you. Because ain't a single nigga laugh. She <laughs> and that's true. Because when I saw this in theaters, not a single, well, at least like I heard certain people, some people chuckled, but now not the entire theater was actually, wasn't really laughing. Really thought she ate with that joke too. I know she was under that mask straight cheesing. Like, nah, you're just trash. I'd be tearing Sam Raimi Spider-Man up a new one, but he has never, ever dropped a quip this horrible. But moving on from this fraud, they did my boy 1967 yeah. Spider-Man so dirty. So dirty. Right. He the OG. My man is a deteriorating corpse, so I I guess it makes sense. And then Miles yeah. enters the gym and you see all these niggas doing some crazy workout routines. You got my man leg pressing and 
entire building. Like, I know you think you tough, but can you bench 225? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. And then you got this Spider-Man right here pulling two platforms. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought all these Spider-Man were Peter Parker variants. Because there's no way all 600 of y'all saw this tiny ass rope and all of y'all ran across this. Y'all Spider-Man, aren't y'all supposed to be smart? And don't think... That was a hilarious moment, though, by the way. Gotta let you slide either with right, your Rodway bags. My spider buggy. I was finally escaped just to get the Miguel <laughs> jump scare. Miles weaves yet again, and he makes his escape outside. Miguel, with some elite chase down, just cuts Miles' rope. This for Miss Jessica Drew to get the rebound and slam this nigga. And I know damn well she thinks she cooked with this, but when you see how Miles does her... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, it's my favorite part. And Gwen really out here trying to save my boy Miles with the little puppy eyes and everything. And I know a lot of you niggas would see a snow bunny with snow eyes bunny. like this and you would be on hands and knees. <laughs> you niggas is trash. <laughs> but nah, she really thought she could just waltz right back into my boy's life. And Miles just cuts Cut the rope. Shit. Like nah, she forgot we on spider bite now. Yeah, buddy. But this man gets trapped by Scarlet Spider and like 15 other Spider-Man and he still somehow escapes the fade. I'm telling you, he's the goat. Out here exposing Ben Riley as an entire fraud. Yeah. And then he gets sent away by my boy Peter B. Parker. Now, this scene is really cute. Peter, yeah. he to go. His child cute as hell, too. But sadly, my boy forgot that got he had my iPhone on tracker. his Apple Watch. Because Miguel out here talking <laughs> about some send all the shooters. Spin the block. <laughs> And Miles had to get right back in the field. No bench, no break. Nigga was on the court for 38 minutes straight moving. I had no help. And the way Miles went through this hole was clean as hell. Only for this Megazord ass nigga to just blow it all up, bruh. So Miles escapes and then Jessica's on his ass. And this part right here, oh man, let me screen record this part because this does put a smile on my face. No. So Jessica out here talking about something, you're a terrible mentor. But yet, look at how she gets packed. She got a boost from Gwen, only to get Ultra Instinct dodged, ran off her own whip, and then slammed into a train. Like, yup, here it is, y'all. This is the Elite Strike Force. Man, y'all niggas trash. He been Spider-Man for years. Like, nah, if I was Miles, knowing how fraudulent these niggas are, I would've walked right into that spy society talking about something. Oh, this is my team! You will join the my team! Welcome to the day, Lamar! <laughs> Man... She lucky she fine as hell because I really would have continued to bake you for another three minutes. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? I see a fine black woman with an afro, man. I'm gonna let it slide! I'm gonna let it slide! Anyways, Miguel. By the way, Issa Rae voiced the character if you don't know. Running on this hole like it's Subway Surfers. Jumps 15 feet in the air and then lands right in front of Miles. Now, I said in my last video, I know Miguel thinks that he's that nigga. Because if you jump in like this, why did you stand in front of Miles just to pose and then you throw your strike? Even Stevie Wonder can see that from a <laughs> mile away, bro. But he throw one strike and he once again posing. I know he got Lila taking pictures of him every second. Because this is getting out of hand, bro. He just like them IG models, bro. He will literally die for a fit pick. But they actually start boxing. And again, Miguel is the only person in this sorry-ass squad that could actually box. So Miles Damn. continues to run away and Miguel continues to pursue. And the way my man claws out of this train right here is low-key cold as hell, bro. I don't know what it is about the Spider-Man media nowadays. They be giving my boys the iciest intros ever, but they be looking like villains. And they be dropping captions just like this. Nigga said I can't. Changed. Of course I did. I shit myself. I mean, I know Miguel's Instagram page something fierce, bruh. But it ain't nothing like mine. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> now, Miguel start crawling up this hole like a <laughs> now, bruh. And he asked, who do you think you are? And I'm sorry, Miguel, but this is your canon event. Because you are about to get hit with the Shonen main character speech. <laughs> you got my character. man Miles Morales self-narrating himself. And look yeah. at how we jump off the train right here, bro. I'm on your side, but nigga, you ain't never done this ballerina ass shit in your entire <laughs> life, bro. What is all this theatrics for? This kick was clean, though. He hit the stance straight out of blue lock. And then whipped this nigga straight in the dome, bro. Miles webs him in the face, and he ends up escaping into the train. And Miguel is hot on pursuit. This man used to be a Mari cameraman in his past <laughs> because there is no way you are on point no matter where this nigga goes. And the chase down my niggas put him down is actually insane yeah. bro like i'm sorry you couldn't play foursquare with your kid but is it really that deep so they end up outside again then miguel starts talking like he's low-tier god talking about something you serve zero purpose <laughs> 
You should kill yourself now. And Miguel starts talking hot in front of Miles, bro. Originally for this part, I was going to put a Miguel is racist joke. Because, you know, when the movie first came out, this was a pretty funny joke. But y'all niggas ran this joke to the ground in a week's time. I don't know how that's even possible. And sadly, I'm not going to be part of that crowd. So I'm just going to remove my joke from the video. But one thing I'm still going to say, while Miguel was oh. talking his trash in... I think I know the joke. I think I know it. I'm I'm familiar with it. It just caught right back to me. He whispered <laughs> in Miles' ear, saying, you never belonged here? I felt like I was Spider-Man because my ancestor senses were going crazy. Hmm. I had all my tribal shooters on lockdown. <laughs> they ready to scrap on command. But yeah, this was some completely wild shit, bro. But even though Miles is getting pinned down by this 300-pound mega truck, he has a plan the whole time. He just needed the platform, free slum. And then hmm. Miles drops the hardest line in this entire movie. I'm going to do my own thing. Do my own thing. This shot was clean as hell, hell too. Yeah. Oh, they snap! Yeah. And then Miles says bye to his snow buddy. <laughs> bye, babe. I'm landing in tilted. And then he vanishes. And then Miguel, stripped and all, still goes down to chase him. He was not letting him go. And before we move on to the finale of this, for my sanity, can we just pretend that PS4 Spider-Man, Japanese Spider-Man, and the 1980 cartoon Spider-Man was not a part of this lame man group, bro? Because there is no way my three goats was getting outweaved by Miles, bro. Please. I'm coping so hard right now, bro. Oh my god. And by the end, Miguel was genuinely tweaking. Running on all fours like a canine and then going ballistic on this hole like he's the Tasmanian devil. And then he tries to rip through the barrier too. Jeez. Like I know Miles' POV must have been crazy. Especially with Miguel's hot ass breath from all that yelling, bro. I know your 1987's ass is tired, bro. Get some sleep. And to end this all, Spider Bite proves why black women are on top. She, off one interaction, done more for Miles than Gwen did in this entire film. All she did was lie and manipulate my mans. Basic snow bunny activity. Spider Bite you a real one. <laughs> Miles escapes and y'all know how the rest of this go. Yep. Miguel got his squad to chase down Miles and on paper, this squad is fire as hell. If you told me as a kid that 2099 Spider-Man and Scarlet Spider would team up, I would have been geeked as hell. <laughs> but in this movie, this got to be a complete sellout lineup. We got a fraud, a racist, and a dumbass. <laughs> y'all burning the whole kitchen. Wet squad though, she looking tough. She got all the goats and she got more. Yep. Nah, you already know she about to carry. And all I got to say about the next movie i got a theory guys i'm gonna to listen up listen close and listen carefully ain't nobody in the next movie dying i know it's supposed mm. to be his canon event and blah 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 you can't have your cake and eat it too but just like miles himself said unless you bake two cakes oh god what an ending oh man this is hilarious, um, Zephyr. Very hilarious. It makes me want to see across Spider-Verse this weekend, because I have it on Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray, by the way. I got it last year, and it's been a while. It's been quite a while I've seen Cross Spider-Verse, but yeah, man. Cross Spider-Verse was a hell of an experience in theaters, man. I mean, the whole thing was absolutely packed. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, whoo, wow. I had such a great time watching this. So... I hope it wins the Oscar. Come on now. I hope it wins the Oscar this Sunday night, baby. Oh, by the way, Oppenheimer Sweet, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my reaction to Zeph Fire's Across Spider-Verse recap. So, if you enjoyed this, please head up on the comments and share your thoughts. How many times you watch Across Spider-Verse? Obviously, you know, hopefully this will win the Oscar. I mean, come on. It, two for two, man. Two for two. The, the Inter Spider Verse won the Oscar. This one has to. I mean, come on, man. I mean, shoot. You see, between that or The Born and Heron, which I have not seen yet, but I'm hearing that's having a bunch of competition a lot. So, hopefully, it does win. Hopefully, it does. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have another Zephyr recap of The Batman. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.